churches, they're really part of the New Zealand holiday life. Small dwellings started popping up around the 1920s and 1920s and 1960s. Originally the batch was a really egalitarian kind of dwelling that anybody could could own or could share because it was just a makeshift DIY construction but it could fit two comfortably or ten just as comfortably and everybody would cram into the same place. Simple amenities, simple materials, often the materials were carried into site that talks about the durable and really lightweight structure that they were. I guess there's a real nostalgia about the Kiwi Batch, it's something a lot of New Zealanders can relate to and for me personally it was getting away for summer, the summer holidays as a kid going out to the batch, hanging out at the beach with family, friends, and having a good time. The main thing about the batch that we, we've really focused on is the idea of the deck, where um, it was the primary place where you welcome guests and visitors, you'd hang out, socialise, you'd cook, you know, it was the place where everyone got together and really met as a, as a family or as a, as a bunch of friends. We're starting to get caught up in technologies and, and putting too much into a house, all the technologies that you don't actually need. And so our contemporary batch is really designed so that the person is in control again. I think we all thought that that was something we could really, really take to the Sol Decathlon. Solar is something that uh, is a new technology. People don't feel entirely, you know, 100% comfortable with it yet. It's an emergent technology. It's going to take time. So we want something that's very accessible warm, human, inclusive, something that people sort of aspire to because they believe in. We're trying to build a picture of New Zealand, but we wanted to tell a story of the New Zealand land and geography and plan living and indoor outdoor flow. Those things are something that an overseas person needs to have explained to them in order to understand where this project has come from. Like the German house is very Germanic and the Japanese house is probably very Japanese and we need to paint that picture of New Zealand. One of the biggest challenges I think we're going to face is actually sourcing the plants over in the States. They're not actually located anywhere near Washington DC, so it's a matter of sourcing them somewhere else. So that's probably the hardest challenge I think we're going to face. We want to really exhibit a range of different ecological types. So we've started with coastal and we've worked our way around to inland forests and then further around right up into alpine and looking at a range of vegetation species that actually really exhibit and showcase what New Zealand is like. We actually have to maintain crowd management throughout that area as well. So looking how people can experience these plants at a close scale while moving through the space. So how we design for that.